we're gonna go ahead and do some glute wall slides. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna find a wall, you're gonna get your back as close as possible to it, and then you go ahead and lie down so your back should be nice and flat and neutral. We're gonna go ahead and have that lower leg bent. There we go. And then I'm gonna go ahead and dorsiflex my foot, and I'm gonna go ahead and drive my heel into the wall as hard as I can. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> Core's tight, nice back flat, flat back on the wall, and we're just driving that heel in and sliding back down. If you want it to be a little bit harder, you would apply a towel on the heel or a heel slider, which you can get at any fitness store, and they only cost like 10 bucks. They're a great tool to add into your tool belt. So we would drive the heel in as hard as we can to get that glute active. If you feel like you start arching your back, lower the leg down to a workable height. Once you get done with your set, you will move on to the other side. Just make sure you're doing these nice and slow and controlled. We don't want to rep through them because that's not going to build the muscle and the, um, get those muscles to activate the way we want them to and create proper um, muscle activation. Because a lot of times if you rush through movement too fast and you're not, you're not letting your body have enough time to learn how to activate properly, you're going to train the wrong muscles and it can lead to issues later. So we want to make sure we're doing these slow and controlled. There it is.